Hey, we're back in Timberborn today, and today we've got a large project to do and a slightly smaller project to do. The first project that I want to do, we had started working on our corner here, and before we really get this up and running, I want to make sure that our beavers, at least on this side of the map, should have a good source of water for a long time coming. So we're going to take this and we're going to make the side of this waterfall here one giant reservoir. So we're going to have a really tall dam here put in and we are going to work on funneling some water over this way so that we can always have our beavers have at least some water. However, the first project that we have today is just slightly smaller. Our first project today starts over here in our very first district. I would like to take and make this one larger. We can definitely go one more up with the way the blocks are here, and that will make sure that this doesn't run dry very often at all. However, that does mean we're going to have to do some demo of this area in here. And we're going to start over here. We're going to take out the shrine, which I think is bad luck, so hopefully that doesn't happen, but you never know. Luck has never been my forte. We're going to start with that. We also can come over here, and we will say, let's get rid of these. Yep. And we'll say, let's put in some levees right here. There we go. And we will have to take some of this stuff down, but I'm going to wait until we get some of this other stuff in before we start taking things down here. While they're getting that set up over there, we're going to take a look and see what kind of plans we have for this area. I think there's going to be really three major parts to this. One, we're going to have to get the water shifted over to go in here uh, more often, which means closing off a little bit of this here and probably around here to make sure that water does come this way. Then we're going to go out and around, probably till about here, and make sure that everything stays in there. And then third, we're going to actually build up the side of the waterfall here to make one giant reservoir. So the first thing that we need to do is get out here and close off some of these gaps. So let's figure out, this looks like a good way to go. Let's go out here. We will put in a staircase or two. We'll have to clean some of this out. Maybe we can find a way down. There we go. How about I just put it here instead? That'll make it a little shorter. We'll get rid of these. There we go. You can come this way. You can come this way. And then we are going to have to take out this tree right here. Probably a couple here. Some along the way over here and here, and then we'll get down into this. Now here, I definitely want a bunch of dams in here. So let's take a path, just go around this area here. There we go. We are slowly taking the walls and taking its capacity up here these the falls i guess not the walls i don't know why i said the walls but they're gonna they're gonna come up here and then it should start saving a little bit of water in here actually let's go ahead and put in stairs there and we will say let's get in our dam pieces there we go this way we still have the falls in here but they should also retain a little bit of water for us. We'll close this off when they're done there. And then here, they can come around and get to work on these over here. Those should be fine. That's good. This is good. We'll do all of these. And then eventually, that can come around. However, I think we're going to have to also make sure that it is shuffled this way so let's take the water out this way you know let's move that down one there we go now actually i'm gonna have to take that out aren't i let's put stairs in here 
Looks like they've got around to some of this, so let's go ahead and put it in the path so they can continue on there. And we'll take this out. There we go. That should let them get to most of that. And now, once they have all of this in there, most of the water should go back this way. We'll figure it out from there, though, and see what we need to do once a lot of this stuff is in there. Oops, looks like I missed the stairs by one, so we're just going to move those over real quick. And we will say, don't need you, don't need you, but let's put you in there. And they'll get that taken care of, and hopefully it doesn't take them too long to build all this. Our beavers in the first district have got most of this stuff put in. So the first thing I think we're going to do here is grab a couple of ladders. And we will put two ladders up here because that's how high it's going to be. And it looks like we can go ahead and take out these here without losing any water. So we'll go ahead and say, take those out, please. And then we are going to put in dams. Levies, I guess. There we go. Actually, here, I would prefer to put dams back in. There's where we want the dams. And that should be good. Actually, they can go ahead and get rid of these as well. So, let's say... Yep, you're out of there. Grab more of these. There we go. And then we can fill that up as well. Now, they've got the ladder in over here, so we can go ahead and take the path out of this. There we go. And we will do that for now, and that should be about as far as we can get until we've got most of this water out of here, because I don't want to lose the water intake before we, uh, we need to. I might sacrifice some of the well-being if they get these done quick enough. At the moment, over in our desolate corner over here, we've got some extra beavers, so we're going to put in a couple of builders' huts in preparation for the amount of dam building they're going to need over here. We'll start with two, and they can work on that as they see fit. There's still quite a few trees to chop down over here, and they still have quite a bit of room for lumber, so I am not too worried about it. While our dams are going in, I did pick up another new mod, yet another new one, and it is the Roofs mod, which is pretty neat. I haven't really looked too much through them yet. For example, I don't know what a ghost roof is. I'll have to pick up one of those and find out. However, they did add some decorations in here. I think this is from the same person that made the underground power shafts mod so they have really been making some good stuff lately but i would like uh, a chimney on these let's see substantial chimney square chimney what's a substantial chimney look like oh that's not bad what about also good industrial N no no let's not do that one bakery chimney mm, it's not a bakery Oh, there is a little... You know what? I'm going to put one of those in each of those places, for sure. Up here... I don't know how I can... Oh, that's very tempting. Let's do that. Yep. There we go. Now it definitely gives it an attic kind of look. Let's do... Let's do a square chimney on this one. There we go. Can we do a square chimney on the back of each of those? There we go. And the smoke is coming out. There we go. Now we've got things going. That's some nice upgrades right there. That's really, really nice. Our beavers over here have gotten through what they needed to get through. So we are going to take these out temporarily. There we go. We're going to remove this. Here we go. And we're going to put more of these blocks back in. Now, over here, we're going to have to do a little change up. So I'm going to go ahead and take out two of these. There we go. You can go. You can go. And these can go as well. Let's go ahead 
get the paths out of here. There we go. Those five should still bring in enough to make us through the rest of this drought, at least. At least I hope they will. And that can go in. And we will simply work our way backwards from here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get in some platforms to get up there. Here's two of them. There we go. There's some twos. There's more twos. And then we need to unlock the three, it looks like. There's the three. Let's grab a couple of these. Now it no longer reaches to the bottom. So what I'm going to do there is we are eventually going to make a whole pumping platform down here. However, just for the time being, so I am getting better at making things temporary like they are supposed to be. We're going to put in a temporary platform here. And we're going to say whenever those are out up here, they can come down here and pick stuff up. I'm going to make it the same. No, I'm not going to make it the same. They should be okay without that. And then let's go ahead and get a path along those. We'll get a path along these and they can make all of those. We'll come back and check. Let's check on the other dam for just a minute. Step one over here is coming along, but these beavers have a really, really long way to walk. There's not really a good way to get them down here any further faster i might be able to take a path straight down through here but i don't think i think by the time they would build that they would have already had this built so they're just gonna have to do a little bit of walking here and there and get this step done before we start on the next one on the right side of that taking so long it gives me some extra time to go ahead and play some more with these roof decorations let's see there's a standard three wide roof I would like to know, I'm going to pick up this. What is a ghost roof? Is that like a, a one and a half? Hmm. Interesting. I'm not 100% sure there. Maybe maybe that it's the back end is open. I'm not 100% sure there. That's probably it. But we've got more decorations to put in. So let's put in what a substantial chimney right there. We'll do. Um. We'll do two of these. Um, let's do maybe... There's the round one. There we go. Bit of an upstairs there. Can I do a chimney here? Yes, I can. That looks nice. Over here. Let's add... We're not going to peep directly into somebody's house. That's just kind of creepy. We're going to do three of them there. Let's do... Can I do... No, I can't do a bakery chimney on there because those aren't actually... There we go. That looks good. All right, so we've got roofs there. Oh, here's a couple more. Let's take a look here. And we'll put in one here. One there. Put one in over here and a couple here. There we go. Looks good. Finally, we've got one last set of houses that we can use this on. Let's see. Let's go with. Well, what else do we have? We have the standard roofs here. Let's do. Uh, industrial chimney? You can do an industrial chimney just about anywhere. That's pretty neat. Oh, it goes on the side. Oh, that is an excellent idea. There we go. So now it looks like it's one big apartment complex and all the heat gets funneled out over here. That is excellent. What a great mod. 
our reservoir over here has run dry, which means we can go ahead and take out the rest of this. So there's no real point in getting any more water from there like that. Let's take this out. We'll take these out. We'll remove the road. There we go. Yep. And we will do... There we go. Got those in. We'll make a road across here. And we will get back in these here. So let's go with those. Let's go with... There's our threes. There we go. And we'll get all of these back in. We've got plenty of time before the next wet season. So hopefully we can get most of this in there. I feel like we need more builders in this section here. It just, it, they're not getting stuff done. It's not really their fault. The walk is really, really far. So let's... Toss in maybe some temporary builders and we'll move some people around so that they can get some help. We're going to say this is the highest priority and then we'll probably take our industry folks and let them sit out for just a minute or two. Also, I think I'm tired of waiting on these to get out of there. We've got plenty of potatoes, so let's just go ahead and say those can go and I would like to make that slightly more important although I don't really want to remove that seed there so let's not do that there we go we'll say plant sunflowers and then we'll come back and plant some more in a bit our larger dam is in over here creating this bigger reservoir we just have to get the water pumps back in but that should not take too long. We're out of water anyway. It comes back in about half a day, and we've still got over a thousand water. So even with 140 beavers, I think 2,000 water should be okay. Just to make us through that one day. Well, phase one of our large project over here is going a little bit slower than anticipated. I'm going to go ahead and start on phase two and let our uh, desolate district over here get to work on it because they've got plenty of builders that are just kind of sitting around doing nothing. So what I'm going to start with is we're going to start going right here across and let's see we want there's our landscaping okay dam and levy pieces we need this is one too high so let's go with the two by two there we go. And then from here, we're going to do a one. Let's do a levy here. There we go. And now we'll start with the one by threes. One by three. There we go. And we will start getting all of these in. All the way across here. They have plenty of planks, so they shouldn't have too much trouble. Looks like here I need a one by two. There we go. One by two. We'll keep going here. We don't need this road anymore, so it can come out of there. There we go. You're all out of there. Let's grab some more. Actually, now we need the two by threes. Two by three. Yep. there there we go and then here i'm actually going to do a three by one there we go and we're going to use decoration pieces in the corners to at least have a more rounded looking dam so let's do let's do these i don't think there's a tall version of this is there uh, no, no, two, three, no, no, there's not, but that's okay. We can just use these and on top here, let's actually get one of these. Actually, do I want one of these? Maybe 
No, that's the double height one. Is there a single height one? Mm, no. Okay, well, we'll grab this one. There we go. Now they can walk all the way around if they need to. Now we're going to head down this way and close that off. That guy is done. Awesome. We will grab... They need the... What is it? The 3x3? Three three. But we need it in the landscape because we don't want water to flow through there. So we've got a 3x3. Three three. We've got 1x3. There's another 3. Let's do the 2x3 three over here. There's the 3x3. Three three. We're not going to shut off our water quite yet. So we're going to go down another one. Go 2x3. And another one there. We'll do two of these. Uh, am I off by one? I think I'm off by one. Yep, I sure am. So we actually need three by threes. There we go. This goes here. And on top of those. Now we just have to build down one more time. We can get rid of all of this. Out you go. Out you go. There you go. And looks like we need just a one here. Mm, nope, the right one. There we go. In the right spot. Okay. Fourth try is a charm. We have two of these. And now we need one by threes again. Let's go all the way out to... Uh, Let's do the one by two. There it is. One by two. We'll make a corner there. So let's go one by three. Here we'll go three by three to fill that in. That in. We'll leave those. Here, let's see. Actually, I could probably do... Nope, we want it on the same level. So we're going to do this, 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 and this. This and this. And again, we have these here. Am I off by a level? I am off by a level. Uh, we want the one by three. There we go. And a one by two. Uh, oh, got to actually click it. That helps. There's our three by threes. And now we just need our two by threes. Three by two, I guess. There we go. Three by two, three by two. And three by twos here. Now we just have the corner pieces. Uh, I think I have them already unlocked in decoration. There we go. And up. All the way. And make a platform so they can get around. There we go. And we'll figure out what to do with that at some point. Looks like they've already got quite a few quite a few of these in. They're coming around the corner already. Let's make them a stairway up here. Uh there we go. I'm going to do that and that, and that will let them get up on top of the dam here. So this can come all the way down over here. It'll come around and across. And we'll figure out how to get them to build the rest of that once they've got that in there. Our dam expansion over here did work out pretty well. We've got all our pumps back in, and we're slowly climbing back on the water. Looks like we lost a couple of trees over here, which is not that big a deal. We can just take those out of here. Something like that. Yep, we'll mark all of these. Odd pattern they went in there. And we'll start this back up and have them replanted so that they can have their uh, chestnut trees back. It'll take a little while for them to actually get chestnuts, but that's okay. We've got plenty of time. Over here, phase one is finally done. So the next wet season that comes through, we should see a lot more water in this area. 
And phase two is actually going a lot faster than I thought. We're low on planks and it's probably going to take a lot more planks to get going. So we might have to open up some plank factories down here to help out, but we'll see. In the meantime, though, we'll go ahead and get started on phase three over here. First thing, let's clear out these roads. We don't need them and they just kind of detract from the natural beauty of the falls, I think. At least in my opinion, they do. I mean, they're not terrible, but also I think it looks a lot better when they're just not there so let's get rid of all of those all of these there we go nope that's gone that's gone those are gone there we go nice and clean looking over here we're going to start on getting the wall down this way now i have a feeling with these guys not being the fastest builders that eventually this desolate corner will pick up, but we'll figure that out. Let's see. We need... Let's grab... Oh, the 2 by 3 maybe? 2 by 3 Oops. Landscaping 2 by 3 And we want water shuffled off this way. So actually, we can get rid of that. There we go. And eventually when this all fills up, this will start getting water again as, as well as this. Over here, we're going to have to say demolish. Demolish this, demolish that. And get rid of this. Those can probably... Okay, actually, I don't need to demolish this, so let's cancel that. The wall can come down this, go over here, go around the side here, and over and around here, and it will probably come up and over to here. So let's demolish this. We'll get rid of that. And then we will build this way. We'll need to get rid of this at some point. That... And this, these two aren't really going to help us anymore. I'm not sure how much help they had in the first place, but that's okay. Once that's cleared out, maybe we can figure out what it is we need here. Let's start with some maybe one by threes. No, we need one, one by two here. No, two by one. Two by one. There we go. No. There we go. Two by one. We're going to have to get rid of that tree. There we go. Go two by one. And then looks like a bunch of ones. Let's do one, 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 one. There we go. More ones here. Let's do the twos here. Although, am I going to need that too? Yeah, I'll need that too. We'll do two, 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 two. And the ones, we'll figure out ways to get up to these at some point. Now, let's go back with the threes. Is that the tall one? Yep. There we go. We'll do the two by three or three by two here. There we go. Three by two. Let's get the three by three and three by two in here. Same thing here. Up we go. This will probably be a pretty difficult build, but we'll figure it out. We've got the twos. And we've got the one three. There we go. How are they doing down here? Let's get them a little bit of a runway here going. They can come across. They've got their stuff. 
together, it looks like. So let's get in a two by two here. Or maybe it should be a two by three. Nope, three by two. There we go. Three by two. Have to figure out a way for them to get down there. Hmm. I guess we will do this this way. Have them build some ladders. Then we'll take the resources for the ladders back up. Here we're going to need two by twos. No, one by twos. Two by ones. There we go. That's what I meant. There we go. Same thing here. We're going to demolish that. Grab a path so they can demolish both of those off of one set of ladders. Actually, no, that was the one I decided not to demolish. So we'll just leave that. Here we need... A 3x2, 2x3, 3x2. I was right the first time. Nope, I need a 1x2. There we go. 3x2 here. Now let's keep going on down here. 1x3, 3x1. 3x1, 3x1. There we go. Here. Gonna need this that and let's go with the there's the two 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 three three and i think that pretty much connects everything in it looks like they've got this one in here so we'll grab that is that the right height it's hard to tell from here let's go around to this side Yes, that is the right one. There we go. And do, 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 let's see. We're going to go ahead and maybe curve this bridge just a little bit like we did over here. So let's say, let's get rid of this, 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 this. Anything here. This. Mm, nope, that should be fine. And then we'll come back in with our decoration blocks. We will put in... This. There we go. Now it's starting to shape up. Probably shouldn't have hit escape there. There we go. We've got plenty of blocks left to go. So this is definitely going to take a while to build. Hopefully these quick building beavers, though, can get it done. Let's go ahead and get to that through there. Need to get that out of there, get that out of there. In fact, I don't want any more of these roads. Let's say that goes there. These all go here. There we go. A little bit more here. Then we'll just fill in the corners here. There we go. We'll get them all filled in here. And we'll come back and take a look in just a second. The good news is our water is caught up. It looks pretty good and our logs are still doing well as well. However, as you can see, our planks here have really taken a nosedive, and there's going to be a lot more that's needed. So we're going to start over here on our production area just a little bit earlier than I had originally planned. We're going to toss in, let's do four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be enough. We don't really need any gears at the moment. 
Uh, so we're just going to focus on the windmills themselves, getting those in. One, two, three should be enough to run that for now. So let's get some flywheels in here. We're going to pause these until they've got all of the power in. And I'm going to say this is actually a little more important than everybody working on the dam over there. Our next big thing here is going to be closing this gap in the wall. We're not going to be able to use most of this at some point. And in fact, we can probably get rid of this and go ahead and put the rest of the wall in here. But to close this gap, I would still like access to the bottom of this reservoir here. So we're going to make a tunnel in here. I'm going to cut these off. We're actually going to make a path around here. There we go. Now let's say... I believe that's in... Yep, tunnels. Tunnel through levee. There we go. And now we just need a couple of bricks to get to that taken care of. I'm going to say that's slightly more important than this stuff. I believe this stuff is set for... No, let's set that for the highest, because I would like to get to those done. Let's tell people not to just wait around in buildings that aren't going to work, though. And we'll get that one done. We need those ones. So until that's done, all I can really do is put in just the one here, and then we will make a 1x3 and a 3x3 three three on top of that. I realized since there was nothing that needed paper... We didn't have a reason to have it. So I'm going to go ahead, build a large warehouse that uh, we don't need right away. And we're going to switch this warehouse from gears to paper. And hopefully our, our moving builders can get those all moved around uh, over to the gear warehouse. And then they can fill this up with paper so that they can make our large windmills. We've gone through two layers of water here trying to get caught back up and so far we are so I have a feeling we should stay caught up for the most part. However I do want to get some automation to turn these pumps on and off whenever they don't have water to pick up. So we're just going to come in here grab our nice stream gauge yep and we will toss it down right there. We'll say that's important, and then we'll link all of these so that as soon as it's at a certain level here, it'll just turn all these off and all of the beavers can go find something else to do temporarily. These beavers must have been insulted by the fact that I call them the slower building beavers because they seem to be doing much better now. However, they have got their stuff out of here, so let's go ahead. We will put in a, let's see, we want a one by three. Nope, a three by one. One of these days. There we go. I will get that correct. They can put in all of this. They'll come over this way. And that can go here. And we may have them come down and get this tree. We may not. I'm not sure yet. But uh, it might be easier for them to do that than build this whole ladder setup I've got right there. We'll figure that out in time, though. Might as well go ahead and do some of the automation for this. We'll go ahead and put one in there. I'm going to put one here, too. And once those get in, we will link those up. These guys, on the other hand, you know what? Let's go ahead and put one in for them, too. Might as well. Although I don't know how much longer they'll be used. Our tunnel is in, so we can go ahead and clear out this. Now let's do something like this. We will do... Let's see. We'll grab our 1x3 here. There we go. And then another 3x3. Three and now we should be completely enclosed. Oh, except for right here, which we can get real quick. That, this, and this. And then we'll take these out of there. We'll get the corner pieces in. There we 
go. That should work just fine. We'll put more paths up here so they can get to everything. Our first bit of industrial complex is in over here. So we're going to toss in some beavers there. There we go. Looks like we've got a couple going on. Uh, did you? Yeah, you came out of there. Let's make you normal, and I'm going to make you the lowest. Close down the building a bit, but it gives us our chance to catch back up on the planks. Hopefully, they can get their own stuff without too much problem. It looks like everything is going to plan, and a lot of the water is going over here to start filling this up. It'll fill up a little ways here. I think it might start flowing out here until they've got that taken care of, which I guess is kind of good because that gives our water pumps time here to actually be utilized as they have a pretty low level of water at the moment. But that's that's not going to hurt too much. Hopefully we can get some water saved back. We are making our way around for step three. It's going slow. Step two is almost done. So hopefully they'll meet somewhere in the middle and both be working on step three here before too long. Well, I might have slightly overguessed how high this water is going to be. So for just a minute, we are going to take and say, let's put one of these here. We will get a beaver in there at least to pull some water out. In fact, let's do two just because we can. There we go. And we'll pull as much water out of that as we can. We'll shut them down, though, after the water level goes down. And there is the last piece on our reservoir. We have got everything we need to hold the water in. We're going to go ahead and get the corner blocks in here. However, that isn't really necessary for the actual dam to function. So here in about two and a half days, we should be able to hold a lot more water. I have tossed in a couple more water pumps when they're needed so that we can pick up more water. But I think that should store as much water as we're going to need for a good long while. However, building the dam did take a toll on some of our resources. They're slowly climbing back up now that most of it is done. Uh, but next time, we're going to take the corner over here. We're going to start really developing this city. We've got a whole bunch of industry that we can put in. Uh, we've got plenty of room for different types of farms and a whole bunch of other stuff. So be sure to check that out. But... Just going to say thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!